The NBA Finals are here, guys. They're upon us. We're here. Yeah. They are upon us. The Boston Celtics versus the Golden State Warriors. Steph Curry going for yet another championship, but the young gun, Jason Tatum, and the Boston Celtics are coming for yet another franchise win, right? So, that was good, right man. now, who are we investing in the Finals? Yeah. Carlo, tell us, tell us what you think. I mean, obviously, the, the two big names are Curry and Tatum right now. Um, okay. Tatum's been setting records via Golden's platform, left and right. Mm -hmm. The thing is with me, you know, Curry's the X factor. What's the one thing he doesn't have? That's the finals MVP, That's right? Like right. Adala won one, KD won two. Is Curry gonna win the finals MVP? That could really, I mean, obviously his stuff's so high, that could take him to the next level. You think that would put his prices like even higher, the finals MVP more so he, than the championship? I, I, I do because he's got three of them already. You know what I mean? I think right. in order to get to that LeBron Jordan level, he needs the Finals MVP because it shows you come up in the biggest game. Right, I get that. Yeah, you're the best player on the biggest stage. Not not that he hasn't been great, but right. I just think it's kind of weird for the legacy that Iguodala won one, KD comes in, wins two, and then he's out. You know what I mean? Yeah. So to me, Curry winning the Finals MVP is going to be pretty crucial for his collectability. So. Nobody thought that the Celtics, especially when they were basically a 500 team, you know, yeah. going into the season, nobody thought they were going to be here. So obviously Tatum's values, you know, people are going after him. But losing the championship, I mean, does that really even hurt Tatum right now? You yeah. know, or uh, Ryan? I don't, I don't think that hurts his value, to be honest with you. I mean, he's, he's a super young kid. He's going to be the face of the NBA, I think, in the future. Um, he's going to be around for at least 10 more years, prime, like in his prime. So when I think when you take those factors, I think it's just good to show that he got to the big game. But I don't think it's nearly as crucial for him to win it as it is for like a Steph Curry to prove that you know he can do it on his own. I agree. But we were talking about players a couple weeks back, top five mm -hmm. players to invest, and I actually mentioned here we go Clay Thompson. There we go. And the reason I mentioned him was, and this was before you know the Warriors had gone down, and you know we'll sure. see what happens. I mentioned him because when he wasn't there. These guys weren't even making the playoffs. Yep. And now he's there, and they're in a spot to potentially win it again. I still don't think that puts Clay in the top five players to invest in since 2000. But where does that put Clay Thompson? Let's say Clay Thompson. Mm -hmm. Let's and he say could. he wins the MVP. Why? Why? He why? Why couldn't could. he? he? Gets hot. Right. Why it. couldn't yeah. he? And you know, there's not very many people that can afford Curry's top end. Mm -hmm. Whereas you know, you look at you know Clay's national treasures, prisms. Relatively speaking, that they're cheap. The guy's so, got to be a Hall of Famer. I can't yeah. see him not being a Hall of Famer. So he was pretty upset. He, he, he was upset he didn't make the top seventy-five list. I don't think he should have been on that list. No, but not, that's, that's not fine. yet. I mean, he didn't, <laughs> he didn't do all that. But you know, look, he's one of the best shooters in the game, probably of all time. You're right. He's. I, I haven't looked at the odds, but he's probably very much up there for Finals MVP. Mm -hmm. Probably a good it's move. Pretty good one to take, actually. Yeah. Honestly, because I mean, his market, like you said, compared to the other two, I mean, I think Tatum is. I still think Tatum is undervalued, to be honest yeah. with you. If you look at his market compared to some of the other superstars, um, look at Ja, how his market took took off this nuts. year compared to Tatum's. Tatum never really got that that major major spike. He he obviously sees some uptick and stuff like that, but I don't think to that superstar level it should be. Oh, we we sold a. John Moran and he had a five for 500k. That's what I mean. Yeah, he, he, Tatum's now hitting that six-figure yeah, mark. Right, so right, close to right. That. I don't, you know, it's sometimes it's it's interesting what, you know, what people really gravitate towards. But, you know, Jalen Brown obviously falls into that second tier, but as someone who... That won't be affected, I don't think. I mean, you know, he's... You think? He might, he'll get a spike. Yeah. I mean, especially if he puts up a big, has a big game. You know, he's definitely going to average at best. But, um, but he's going to get the spike naturally. Because of the finals, because of the exposure, he's going to have a good game. Obviously, we would think. I mean, when LeBron would win a championship, Kyrie's cards wouldn't go that that crazy though either. I mean, it, I'm trying to think back. His, yeah, his but that's also move. I think. Yes, that was you the have two Curry, guy. right? But when LeBron comes, you got LeBron and everybody else. I think with everyone else kind of playing right now, I don't think you have like oh Jason Tatum and everyone takes a back seat. Jason Tatum isn't in the finals without you know his. Who, his who do you guys team. like? Who's going to win? Warriors. Who's going to win? Warriors going to smoke them, I think. Warriors are going to smoke. I've them. got to go with the Warriors. Yeah. I've got to pull for the Warriors. Are you, do you think the Celtics have a shot at winning this? I, I think they match up really well with the Warriors, man. I think, you know, Marcus Smart's going to be a pest to Curry all day. I think Jalen Brown's a great defender, matches up very well with Klay Thompson. Um, you know what, Jordan Poole, Tatum, I mean, he's way better. I mean, Horford, Draymond Green. I, I think the matchups are pretty good. 
I think ultimately the experience of the Warriors puts them over the edge, but I think it's going to be a good series. I think what's interesting about collecting side of it, though, is that a lot of people, when they think, okay, you know, Curry, you know, he's a couple weeks away from another, you know, championship, or Tatum's a couple weeks away from his first championship. But a lot of times those prices, believe it or not, are already baked in yep. to the actual you know, price spike that player is going to see. Because whoever's buying Curry is buying Curry because he's going to win the championship. Right. If you're buying Jason Tatum, you're buying because you think he's going to win the championship. So you're already paying higher right now because you think they're going to win. So a lot of times you even see when a player wins a championship, his prices might stay the same because that, that, that uptick was already built into that. Yeah, we, we saw that with Mahomes big time. I remember that. But What about Joe Burrow? Joe Burrow leading into the Super Bowl was sky <laughs> high. And just, Everybody thought he was going to yeah. win. I'm thinking, no, this guy's a second year in the league guy. Right. He just took him to the Super Bowl. Yep. He loses a great game that he very well should have won. And his prices are half the price. Right. Which means people beforehand were buying thinking he had 100% to win. 100% was going to win, right. Because even now you look at the price of Burrow. But I, you know, we'll bring it back. And I agree with you. But it's, it's like you said about Tatum. Even if he doesn't win, I mean, his youth, his trajectory, you know, he's still on the path. So, still good, still good buy. So, if, Tatum, buy, so yeah. if the Celtics win and Tatum wins his championship, he wins the final MVP. Is it not a good time to buy Tatum still? Let's go back to LeBron's first championship. Right. That would have been a great time to buy amazing. LeBron in retrospect. Well, remember LeBron's first finals, he got swept by the Spurs. And I don't know, were people bailing on him then? Obviously, right. it was so different back then. But you make a good point. Like, it was a great time to buy LeBron. You know what I mean? He right. lost in Miami. His market plummeted. Right. Plummeted. So, I mean, there's there's definitely that, that major swing one way or another. Um, and I, I think, you know, Tatum is a little different, like we said, than Curry, who, you know, Curry's, you know, was he 34 or something like that? Um, where Tatum's super young. So, no matter really what happens to him, I think if he wins, they're just going to be like, wow, his... his Future is going to be that much brighter. How many championships? Will right, you win? right, and you and need to win exactly. one, right, right, to show you can. Right, right, and then you win the one. Now you've automatically won. So we now we're talking top five to invest, top right. ten to That's invest. True. Now Tatum shows up on the list. Mm -hmm. So why wouldn't you buy Tatum ap right after he wins a championship? Essentially, yeah. I mean, could you true. wait for it to cool down? Could you wait maybe till next year if he comes out has a bad week or so? Right. Sure, there's all sorts of ways to time it, but I think based on his price in in comparison to Jaw and some of these other players. Yeah. I think Tatum's still a great buy right now, just value for his items. I, I, I agree. I think Curry is going to go after the finals MVP. I think he knows that. He knows he needs it. That's the one missing piece of his tremendous resume and legacy. And I, I think it's a big hole, to be honest with you. I, I think you need finals MVPs, you know what I mean? So um, that's something to watch. I, I, but everybody right now is thinking Curry's got to win finals MVP or bust pretty much. Right. Yeah, but he hasn't done it yet. He's won three titles. Like, is he going to win it? I don't know. I think there's going to be a lot more disappointment if he doesn't right. than basically any other outcome. Right. So I think if you're banking on let's go heavy on Curry right now and then he somehow doesn't win that MVP, then you're essentially buying Curry like Ryan said. Yeah. Assuming he's already got that in the bag. So who are That's we true. looking at that is an outlier okay. that... Okay, what about what about Jordan Poole, right? He's someone who's emerged. Um, That's actually a really good and one. And you got to think... It's a pretty good one. You know, Warriors are such a good franchise. Curry's a great coach. Their goal is to start sliding him up as Curry starts to fade out. So, Poole probably should not win the Finals MVP, but he's he's kind of emerging as a dog, man. He's an alpha right now. Like, so is he the guy to get? Maybe he wins a title, big contributing factor, and he becomes the future. Honestly, and they they are grooming him that right. way. That, that is a, that's know, a great point. He's honestly. an X factor because his his rookie season he wasn't that good. Nah. I mean, he was a good defender and he was just okay. But then he developed an offensive part of his game that kind of changed things, and you know all of the um, all of the work like Curry, Draymond, they, they speak so highly of him. So I, I think that is that is an interesting play. He's, he's outselling Mark McGuire right now, so we'll see. Where I know that's goes. tough. Wow, to hear. McGuire's one, probably the greatest ever. But but I'm, I'm just telling you, I'll, I'll end it with this. I think it's going to be a better series than people think. Like you I said, you didn't pick. You did not pick. Ah, man, I will say um, I'll say Golden State in seven. No. Yeah, I think it's gonna be no way. Bro. I just I think, think it's gonna be five. I think it's gonna be a quick series. I think they match up well, man. I think Marcus Smart's smart. defensive player of the year. Like the Celtics, they took out the Nets. You know, they've been just tearing through everybody. If you look at the Warriors, they ran into some tough matches early on. You know, they John Morant. You know, I mean the Grizzlies. They 
they matched up very well against them. Obviously, Ja got hurt. Right. You know, you look at those series, and now you think, okay, maybe the Celtics, after seeing who they beat to get here, they might surprise people. I mean, do think about it. You destroy KD and Kyrie. Destroyed You know, you, you, you beat Giannis. You know, you take care of Butler. I mean, are they really going to be intimidated by these guys? I don't. I don't think they are. Like I said, I just it's about the matchups. They match up well, so. Yeah, but you know those Warriors, man, those three points. Yeah, those say, three points will kill you quick, every time. Real quick, but we just so. have not seen Curry play like Steph Curry in the finals. Yeah, I mean, I would love to see it, honestly. All right, boys, it's good, man. Oh, he's done. This Carl, is good. Carl, 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 All right, done. look, twenty twenty NBA finals are among twenty twenty two. Are amongst us. And 2020 <laughs> is a couple years ago, but that was also a good final statement. Thanks, it. thanks. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Hopefully you gained some valuable knowledge. We'll see you next week. Fine.